Um, what happened? What what caused the delay? Uh, I don't know. To be truthful to you, I was supposed to be here like ten days ago, and I had my house set and my furniture sent from Milwaukee, my cars and everything. But it looks like we were missing one paperwork, and then. Argentina, it's Argentina, and the embassy, the American embassy in Argentina, I guess it works different than, than here. And you've done this every year, obviously, so it's not like it's a new experience uh, for you. Well, it's not every year, it's every time you have a new contract, you know. Uh -huh. You gotta deal with a worker visa, and well, I've been there before, and this time was a little difficult because uh, my wife is Italian, and my kids are Italian, and in Argentina sometimes, you know, it's not easy to get pieces for different passports, but I'm here. That's the most important thing. I'm here. I'm ready to go. What do you feel like you bring to this team, especially yeah. such a young team? Well, I always try to be a good guy. Uh, here I'm maybe the old guy next to Kmart. And I always I try to do, you know, little things to, to be a good guy. You know, when he's defending, defending, when he's shooting, shooting. I say that no, I didn't do nothing great, nothing special great. I just do many good things, and I like to play for the team. Did you have additional familiarity with this team because of Luis, because of Kelvin Sampson? Did it give you? A, I mean, you were traded here. You, you didn't choose, but did it give you a greater understanding of, of what you were getting into? Yeah, I was talking to Kelvin about it uh, before first time here. I talked to Cal uh, when I was in the Olympics and uh, we were talking about uh, getting a contract here. I was uh, asking Luis about it, you know, and then his trade happens. Um, but yeah, I mean, I can say I know almost everything. Even like that, I like to make my, my own experience. I don't like to, to be living on, on you know, other people's experience. I like to, to create my own. And, you know, so far so good. It's my first practice. I, I, I see many things I used to do. Milwaukee, I don't know, maybe you can tell, uh, but you know, I've been here for a while and it's always basketball and it's always... Uh, nice of you not to correct me when I said that backwards. <laughs> I, I tried to be sneaky and... <laughs> well, you know, as soon as I said it, I thought, maybe he didn't notice. <laughs> now nah, he noticed. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> what were your first impressions of uh, some of your teammates today, your first practice here with the Rockets? I think it's a great, good, great group of, of guys, uh, a young team, you guys say. Uh, we didn't leave much today, but I've been you know, asking about it and they said they were working really good for the top. And, you know, uh, I like corporations, but I've been on a team like this in Milwaukee, it was a young team three years ago, we make the playoff when no one was expecting us to make the playoff. And, you know, I don't want to say that it's the same situation, but it's, it's close to, you know, I guess uh, we expectations from people of, of the team. They don't have us, you know, more too much on the, on the radar, and, and there's something that can be good for us with a young team, and, and we can do something special, I guess. Have you spent much time thinking about your place in this team and in how you might fit in? Because it is sort of a strange team. You have a lot of spots in the rotation, seemingly, that are up for grabs right now, in a lot of different directions that can go. I guess it's a it's a job for a coach. I'm just trying to be uh, as well as I can with the team. You know? Try to make my contribution every time. And I guess the point today is my first practice. Yeah. I always try to be, you know, yeah. I look at it like I always been. And then the coach will decide uh, how and 